Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Mark McGowan tests positive to COVID-19 just hours after Anthony Albanese's diagnosis. WA Premier Mark McGowan has tested positive to COVID-19 as Anthony Albanese's diagnosis throws federal Labour's campaign plans in the state into disarray. Mark McGowan was forced into isolation on Wednesday after one of his family members tested positive. He announced this morning that a positive PCR result meant he would be in isolation until at least next Thursday afternoon. It is not surprising considering one of my family members is positive, Mr McGowan said. In accordance with protocols, this will extend my quarantine period until I am hopefully cleared to leave home next Thursday afternoon, at the earliest. Western Australia has recorded 8,777 new cases and another five historical deaths, a woman in her 50s, a man in his 60s, a man and woman in their 80s and a woman in her 90s, dating back to April 15, but they were only reported to WA Health yesterday. There are 42,613 active cases in the state and 258 people in hospital, with nine in ICU. Premier tests positive within hours of federal Labor leader Mr McGowan's positive diagnosis comes after his federal colleague, opposition leader Anthony Albanese also tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday, derailing his campaign plans. Read more Mr Albanese had been planning to visit Western Australia today, making what would have been his third visit in the last two months. In a sign of how important WA voters are to the outcome of this federal election, Mr Albanese was planning to officially launch his campaign in Perth next Sunday. In announcing his positive diagnosis last night, Mr Albanese said he was in good health and would work from home during his isolation period. Federal colleagues to step up in Albanese's absence WA Communities Minister Simone McGurk said while the timing was unfortunate, she expected West Australians to be patient through the hiccup. It must be very frustrating for anyone involved in that federal election campaign to contract covered but, as we know, we don't get to pick when the pandemic decides to tap us on the shoulder, she said. It must be very challenging, but we do what we can and I am confident that the Australian public are aware of those limitations and will be patient through the course of this campaign. When asked about whether both Mr McGowan and Mr Albanese being taken out of action would hamper Labour's efforts, Ms McGurk said federal colleagues would continue campaigning in their absence. Labour's got some great candidates on the ground, we've a got other shadow ministers visiting, and they will continue to do the work while Anthony is in isolation, she said. I am sure he'll ill make full use of Zoom and other facilities to get his message out. Penny Wong says WA key to election in Mr Albanese's absence, prominent senior Labour figure Penny Wong led a contingent of federal members and local candidates at a press event in the marginal seat of Swan, which Labour is hoping to take from the Liberals. Read more seats like Swan, along with a handful of others in WA, are expected to play a key role in deciding the outcome of the election. Your state does have the power to decide if Mr Morrison gets another term in power, Ms Wong told reporters. Western Australia is key to this election. We understand that, and we also understand how important Western Australia is to the Australian economy. Ms Wong tried to play down the impact of Mr Albanese being taken off the road for a week, saying she expected he would still be in WA for the party's campaign launch next Sunday. People understand this is the consequence of the borders opening and restrictions being eased, she said. We re still in the first half of the campaign. Covered cases surge in southwest meanwhile, in the state's southwest, cases have hit record highs ahead of a busy long weekend. Authorities reported 585 new cases overnight, the highest total for the region since the pandemic began. The record number of cases comes as thousands of visitors flock to the region for a music festival in Busselton and Anzac Day commemorations. Independent epidemiologist Dr Bev Patterson says the rise DOESNT come as a surprise and that people shouldn't be too worried. If you were in a situation where you are exposed to lots of other people or tourists, be careful, she said there are things you can do, 
Be really careful when you wear your mask. Also be aware that it is not just about you getting covered, but it is also that you can transmit it to somebody else. Posted 4 hours ago, updated 38M ago.